Today we'll be looking into research that we've conducted addressing the idea of student motivation in the classroom. Through this, we'll be looking at the use of student-centered learning, teacher and student relationships, the intrinsic and extrinsic motivation, and the use of ICT in promoting a greater level of education. We'll, look, we'll be intertwining these areas and discussing each approach. The two overarching themes we've found in our research include the ideas of authentic learning and collaborative learning. These two approaches target student motivation and are backed by numerous literary resources. An overview of authentic learning is best described by Heimlock 2014 as the process by taking content that is to be taught and delivering it in a way whereby students are asked to draw on their previous experiences or knowledge to create an understanding of this content. Furthermore, from authentic learning is the use of collaborative approach in the classroom. Collaborative learning is the implementation of pair, group or classwork that involves students getting together and working on a project or task together. From my research, teacher-student relationship can be improved when the teacher implement more um, authentic learning activities where students can be exposed to and connect to the real world. When students realize what they are learning can be applied to the real life, they will find it meaningful and relevant and tend to be more engaged and motivated. In addition, from my research, collaborative learning could be a way to develop supportive uh, peer interaction and positive peer experience which could also increase learning motivation. According to Bitzel, uh, 2003, teachers play an important role in the process because they are in a position to direct, guide, and develop the classroom as a social unit. I really agree with you. According, but according to my actual view, is one of the learning challenge facing teacher today in classroom is how to motivate students to improve their learning outcomes and remain engaged in learning activity. Motivation is an internal state that keeps students to engage in, in their learning direction or any certain activity. To motivate students, teacher has to apply two types of motivation. These are external or intrinsic motivation. And also to apply collaborative learning in the classroom, teacher has two types of motivation strategies which can implement to encourage and promote students to engage in their learning on activities. First, the external motivation involves the reward system or promote any activity outside the class, which can keep the student engaged and involved in any learning. However, we can also promote student rewarding and participate in their class to keep them and to improve their learning outcomes and experience to create an, an inclusive classroom environment for everyone. On the other hand, we can work on the intrinsic motivation refers to something that comes from inside and desire to learn and to improve and to always have some engagement and to achieve something it's good and to learn the concept of the environment of the from the learning. A teacher can foster interesting and motivation in the student and supply their on their engagement with any subject on content. And in return will also develop interest in any subject that the student can learn. I agree with you all. Students need intrinsic and extrinsic motivations to engage with their teacher. But at the same time, I agree with Michael and Cho that the authentic learning experiences are required. This is particularly important when it comes to using ICT to increase student motivation. Camilleri argues that students should use collaborative learning experiences in ICT, such as group problem solving, as it provides a social incentive for students to participate in the classroom. Well, at the same time, real world problem solving just needs to be achieved by using virtual worlds to create spaces for students to problem solve. Therefore showing how ICT can be used to create authentic learning experiences and collaborative learning experiences in the classroom. So from our literary reviews, we then created surveys and interviews that we implemented in the classroom to get real life data from the students. Teacher-student relationship and student motivation. Three students from year 12, year 10, and year nine were interviewed respectively. Consent forms were distributed and collected before the interview. Findings of the interview can be summarized as follows. First, how students perceive a teacher has impact on their motivation to learn. 
Students feel emotionally safe and are more willing to learn when they think their teachers know, care for, and connect with them. Second, students feel more motivated when their teacher can break down the task and give them one-on-one -on -one differentiated support within the context of whole class instruction. Third, Students are more motivated when they are exposed to hand-on activities or activities that are genuinely connected to life. Fourth, some students were very keen on working in a group because they can gain deeper understanding of the task and develop more perspectives through discussion and collaboration. However, some students prefer to work on their own because they were not confident to speak in front of other people. As this piece of action research focuses on how teachers can motivate students in a class and what type of motivation can be used to keep the student in track most of the time, such as interesting or external motivation, and which one of them can have a benefit on child attitude for a long time to learn and improve. To analyze the data collection from the first and second highest answer, was conclude that teacher is responsible to cater for all students in a class and motivate them and keep them on task. Teacher has some preparation in this area of how he can motivate students to learn and improve their outcomes and achievement in any subject. For example, by using different activities in the class and using both type of motivation can increase student attitude toward learning. An implement reward system is an effective way to motivate them as well and encourage their willing to learn. And this is the best way to provide a higher quality of teaching. When examining ICT and student motivation, I used interviews in order to examine the, the student's personal views when it came to ICT and their motivation. And these are the results that I found. The first thing I found was that students loved experiences that were authentic. This is shown when comparing the types of activities students did in the classroom compared to how much they liked using ICT in the classroom. For example, the responders who were given tasks that involved more interactive elements stated that they had a greater level of engagement. I, I enjoyed the quick feedback I got from the classroom, whereas students who had non-interactive found it less engaging and didn't find it very authentic. For example, the student who was just using PowerPoints found that she was just simply doing busy work. While with collaborative learning, the, the data suggests a more complex experience. Some students actually found that they didn't like the idea of collaborative learning experiences. Some found that ICT and group work just led to confusion, while others wanted group work with more of an individual component, like they just did not engage with them. However, there was one individual who, who had a positive experience with group work as they had a good social network. Therefore, showing the need for social cohesion within the classroom for group work to properly work when using ICT. It's created to target students' opinions on students and learning in the classroom. There were 10 year 9 students of mixed academic ability who took part in the survey. From the results, the questions have been divided into two categories one, lecture style teaching, and two, authentic and collaborative style. Looking at the average results from the lecture style questions, we can see a lack of positivity from the students' answers surrounding these questions.
this shows that the students didn't show a great interest in learning by the teacher dictating or writing content down off the board. Moving into the authentic or collaborative questions, we can see that the students responded in a more positive way, with two out of the five having a strong agreeance and three having an agree. These results are very similar to Francis' results and help support NOR's intrinsic and extrinsic motivation results. From the results, we can see that the students surveyed had a greater appreciation towards that of authentic and collaborative style teaching in the classroom, which back up the literary resources research prior to the survey. Although results show on average, the surveys produced answers with an array of variants between the students. This is important to remember as teachers, as although many students prefer student-centered learning, other students may not. So what is project-based learning? Project-based learning is a teaching method in which students gain knowledge and skills by working for an extended period of time to investigate and respond to an authentic and engaging complex problem or challenge. Project-based learning involves starting with an essential question, ultimately leading towards a final product for which they will demonstrate to the wider class. Importantly for students, a variety of skills are needed to answer these questions that would be undertaken within the classroom. According to a lecture and data collection, situated motivation can be influenced positively through many reasons. A teacher's attitude toward teaching is a very important as it can inspire students to learn and become responsible for their learning and how teachers can implement and deliver the content to students as well. The study showed that students who are over control will be easily losing motivation and especially with complex subject as well as their learning will be less than others. That's why teachers' role in the class are very important, such as good pedagogy design, which can, which is an important aspect that a teacher needs to focus on in a class, and also to provide successful learning exp experience for all students and keeping students engaged in attractive activities. According to Ryan in the year 2000, the level of motivation will be varied from person to another, as well as the goal or the reason of the succeed will be changed, and how much every person needs to be motivated and how to can motivate an individual. Hence, a positive relationship in the classroom can impact on security in the class and integrate their internet motivation and confidence as well. Finally, all school operation, classroom management, and its post and service. Implementation of project based learning. Project based learning is one that takes a lot of planning to implement into the classroom. The planning begins by starting with a question or outcome that the students will be addressing. From this, teachers as a faculty or individually can begin to design and plan the project that incorporates all information and resources that the students will need to achieve their overall goal. For example, this can be the introduction to learning how to create a Weebly web page as a class activity which the students will have to use to present their project. From this, a schedule is to be created to ensure students and classes are running along the timeline that will ensure them that they can cover each aspect of the unit or project. Over the time of the learning unit, it is important to continuously monitor group and individual progress to ensure students or groups are not falling behind. The results of the student's projects are then reviewed and assessed by the teacher to create a mark for the unit and overall evaluation can occur. How to measure the outcome of the project? First, a survey would be conducted prior to the project to find out students' knowledge and understanding of the project. Another survey will be conducted after the project and the results from the survey will be analyzed and compared to identify students' changes in knowledge and understanding of the project. Second, students will also be completing regular entries into a logbook, which will show their initial thoughts about the project and will also allow the evaluation of their learning through the weeks of the program. Meanwhile, Exams and tests will be held to evaluate the outcome within the curriculum areas.